The Sefton Coast, a windswept, desolate landscape. But down among the marram grass is a sheltered world, home to strange creatures. In this harsh habitat live two of our rarest animals, exotic beasts hanging on right at the edge of their range. When the temperature climbs to 10 degrees, a male sand lizard emerges from a long hibernation. He's lain torpid in his burrow for the past six months, and now he's on the lookout for a mate. And he doesn't have to wait long. This warm weather may not last, but he'd better watch his step. He'd seem more at home in the tropics. Sefton's dune lizards are the most colourful in the country. And his vivid markings are a dual purpose. He's beautifully camouflaged and dressed to impress. But when he breaks cover, he's quickly spotted. Time to beat a retreat. Any hope of a hot date is dashed for now. At dusk, when the temperature falls, the lizards lie low and the night shift takes over. The dunes resound to the ratchet call of Sefton's other rarely seen resident, the Natterjack, also known as the Running Toad. And like the lizards, they've spent the winter underground now they, too, are desperate to breed. From his chosen puddle, a male's call carries over a kilometre right across the dunes, and he soon attracts attention. Unlike common toads, natterjacks breed throughout spring and summer, Many of their tadpoles die as their shallow pools dry up, but repeated spawning means at least some will survive. Not until it warms to 14 degrees does the female sand lizard emerge. She may not be as brightly coloured as the males, but she soon attracts attention. The bigger, the better, as far as her suitors are concerned. She's only in season for 10 days, and during that time, she needs to mate with as many males as she can. But the male wants to keep her all to himself, so he'll guard her for as long as possible. In three weeks' time, she'll lay a clutch of eggs, but she's a fair-weather creature, and the setting sun signals the end of the affair. The Sefton coast may seem barren and bleak, but where common creatures struggle to survive, two of our rarest and most exotic have found a haven amongst the dunes.